This is the thing that Biden does not want you to see. Namaskaram. Hello and welcome to Daily Global Insights by Sri and Sri. Today is 29th of March 2021 and this is episode number 128. Sridhar Chitalaji is still recovering and we hope to have him very soon, as early as perhaps tomorrow. Here are the main points. GOP senators report from the United States-Mexico border, what Biden does not want U.S. to know. Biden plans to split spending plan into two. India on Thursday reported 59,074 new COVID-19 infections, the highest in a single day since October 17, 2020. In U.S. news, President Biden plans to split up the next big government spending push into two programs and will lay out the vision at an infrastructure-focused fund proposal, including green energy programs at an event in Pittsburgh this week a top administration official said on Sunday. Senator James Lankford visited the United States-Mexico border, including a processing area under a bridge in McAllen, Texas, where he says documented immigrants are allowed and up and will be eventually released into the United States. Watch this compelling video. It's about 11.14 at night. I'm James Lankford. Want to be able to give you a quick update. I'm in McAllen, Texas, literally right at the Texas uh, uh, Mexico border. This is one of the underground processing areas that has been set up literally under a bridge. This is a bridge that moves from Mexico into the United States. That far end down there, the bright spot, that's Mexico right down there. They'll show up down that spot. They'll be able to walk through. They're picked up by Border Patrol here. They're organized. They get their name, their information. They'll go through a very basic screening. They can have like 10 people together that all say they're family. And if they have one child that's uh, five or six years old, uh, then all these folks will be released tonight into McAllen, Texas, uh, with what's called a notice to appear. It's a piece of paperwork saying you've got to show up at a court hearing. Uh, some of those court hearings are three years later. Uh, so literally they're into the country for the next three years. And then there's buses here at the end, and uh, those buses will take them into the central part of, Maca of McAllen, Texas. And uh, they'll just be released at a bus station from there, and they can go anywhere in the country. This is the problem. This is one of the areas that the media is not allowed to be able to come into. Say, this is the thing that Biden does not want you to see, is that literally people walk across the border, they check in here, and they are all released. 100% of the people that are here tonight will be released. So this is absolutely an open border situation. Anyone who wants to come in from any country in the world, no matter what your background is, no matter who you are, if you come through this spot right here, you're going to be released. This is what open borders really looks like, and this is why this is a problem. Blinken dodges questions on whether U.S. will pursue repercussions on China's alleged role in pandemic. In India news, the first round of polling is completed in Bengal. Did Amit Shah meet with Sharad Pawar and Praful Patel in Ahmedabad? National Congress Party is mum, while Shah neither confirms nor denies it. Maharashtra has the highest incidence of one-day COVID positives at 40,414. In global news, Ever Given Ship, still stuck in Suez Canal, may partially be unloaded to make it lighter and be liftable. Myanmar military kills 107 people, including seven children, in a shooting. Defense chiefs from a dozen countries on Sunday jointly condemned the bloodbath that took place on Sunday. Mozambique attack. Foreigners and locals among dozens killed, says military spokesperson. A convoy was attacked by militants called Shabab locally. Some allege that this is an ISIS operation. More details are awaited. This is all we have for news today. We will be back bright and shining tomorrow morning at the same time and the same venue. And until then, goodbye and namaskar.